Yo yo, what is up guys? It is the man in the candy super piggy man here today after a long week of researching and doing stuff I have decided to make a video on the lore of the sky lasers or the eyes or whatever you want to call them in Kenshi Now before we get started on this video, I want to talk about some things uh, I've been recently pursuing something that I've been wanting to do for a long time like being a pro in a certain video game So that's where I've been spending a lot of my time, but I have still been playing Kenshi and still been keeping up with it and I've uh, been trying not to neglect my channel too much because I know you guys love the content here, but I've also been wanting to, you know, it's still kind of outreach into other games. I feel like I've said this a lot of times before, but I've never actually done the actual, taken the actual steps to do it. And I am going to start playing more of like, probably something like RimWorld. And I'm also going to try to be playing Madden 20 and I've tried a series called Road to the Super Bowl where we take the crappiest team in the game where it has all the shitty ratings. And everything and we will take them to the Super Bowl in X amount of seasons or something like that so hopefully you guys do enjoy remember to leave a like and subscribe and also comment what your favorite thing about Kenji is you know but anyways without further ado let's get into the video so today we're gonna be talking about the sky lasers which is probably one of the bigger mysteries around Kenji because we honestly don't even know how long they've been up there or how they even work or what their what entire purpose is supposed to be I remember that somebody had told me once that they were supposed to be like this fertilizer thing that does something for your crops and i i think about it and i'm like dude i've never really tried building any crops there and that's probably something i should really try doing but anyways if the laser just happens to beam down on you you will get struck by fucking thor's hammer lightning or some shit like that because that thing does not like you and it seems that is really toxic to human life but the real reason is what is it doing there like why is it placed there and you know if you go into i think it's the ashlands or somewhere around there um there's this like sky elevator thing where you can go and check it out and see all that stuff and you look at it and you're just like wow what is this and i think that's what might be flying in the sky now the real question is who is operating these things and now a lot of people will say, oh, maybe it's skeletons that are up there that are operating it. And, you know, they just fire the lasers down every so-and-so amount of time. And I really don't believe that because I feel like a skeleton would go insane. And the fact that they might have to, quote-unquote, restart is uh, kind of a, you know, if you want. Because how would you still remember how to do that unless you wrote everything down every single time you reset it? And I feel like a skeleton would go insane just living that life. But then again, these skeletons have been around for millennia. So, you know... They kind of get used to living life and, you know, being immortal. But anyways, the real mystery about this is that I feel like this is where the legend of Okran stems from. Uh, pretty much where he, where they founded this religion was because of these sky beams and maybe that, you know, somebody got struck with it and they lost all their skin or some shit like that. I don't know. Like, I, I feel like that's where the... Or, you know origins of the religion okran came from and narco with the beams but the skeletons do talk about them and they even talk about the fall of the other eye which could also be represented as the elevator and i just think about it i'm just like dude these skeletons know so much so like why don't they just ever say the full thing but these sky lasers are pretty much just there and the real question is why don't they leave craters in the world you know like these are lasers beating down on the kenshi planet time after time after time after time and you look at it and you're just like why isn't there like a huge crater or a huge influxuation of the land where you know the lasers are and you look at it you look at it and you try to look at it from many different perspectives and it does not make sense what were these lasers really meant for and i I'm going to go out here on a theory and say that they were for alternating or terraforming Kenshi when they first came here. That's my whole entire theory is that they were meant to, you know, terraform Kenshi and stuff like that by shooting some nutrients or some shit like that down onto the planet and hopefully trying to, you know, make it established for human lives to live there. And guess what? Human lives can live there. Now, that is my own belief on the entire sky lasers, but let me know what your guys' beliefs are. I actually do want to know your guys' input on it, but hopefully you guys did enjoy. Remember to leave a like, subscribe, do all that fun stuff, and peace.